Schedule options are found under Configurations Scheduler Setup menu. Regular business hours. Each day of the week must be set up as either closed or with start and end times. To set the start time for Monday, left click on the Monday button. Doing so will set the initial start and end times as 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and paint the button green. Set the time for each day of the week, then if required modify the times for each day by clicking on the down arrows. Hours visible on schedule. Set the system to display the period of the day you want displayed in the calendar view. Typically this would be set to an hour before and after regular business hours. Show last number of days. This is the number of days to display in the calendar previous to the current date. You can experiment with this setting to meet your specific needs. If your shop has a large number of appointments per day, you probably want to use a lower setting. Auto-adjust appointment time. This default setting is provided to save users time and effort when actual order hours increase due to additional work being sold. The appointment time will automatically be extended in the schedule to reflect this change. While this could be turned off at the individual appointment level, it's probably a good idea to leave it turned on. Drop-off time. Here's an opportunity to set a default drop-off time to have this automatically filled in, saving you some time as you create a new appointment in the schedule. Select the most popular drop-off time and enter it here. It can always be changed at the individual appointment level. Holiday Setup The Import button presents you with a list of standard U.S. holidays to be auto-imported into the annual calendar. To enter an additional holiday or special event not listed, click on the Add button. Name the holiday or event by typing text into the Name field. Holiday Occurrence Type defaults to today's date. You may overtype this or use the Calendar tool to enter a specific date. If this is a recurring event, change to Pattern Mode and enter parameters such as Fourth Wednesday of October, for example. Be sure to click Save for any holidays created and close the Holiday Setup window. Then click OK when all finished.